What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Um, I am um, at work. I work for uh, Frito Lay. I'm no longer working at Lowe's. Um, Lowe's is pretty good, <clears throat> like my hours and the days I, I work there. Because I mean, we work on the MST team at Lowe's, you get, um, well, as far as my store was concerned, because they did some changes with the MST schedule, either you, you get like, uh, like a, uh, you work four tens, and then you have, you know, like four ten hour days, and then you have three days off, or you have the traditional five eights, and then you work. I mean, and then you're off Saturday and Sunday. At least I had the uh, five eights, and then I had off Saturday and Sunday. But um, that was the only thing that I liked about the job. <laughs> <clears throat> if the job wasn't hard, you're a merchandiser. You do a lot of resets and then servicing the base, servicing and make everything look pretty. And, you know, you you, know, you bring down some product to fill the hole from top stock and that servicing. It's boring, but it's at least you have something to do. I don't remember. There was this one girl. Her name was Molly. She was a good girl, though. But when she first started, she was terrible. <laughs> She was, she was, she was terrible, man. She was, she kept wandering off and shit, cleaning. They don't need, that's not our fucking job, man. We, we, we all clean like janitors. The only thing we clean is the bays. That's it. I don't know. We always working with her. And then I was like, where the fuck is Molly at? And then, I, I, you know, little zebra phone. I called her like, Molly, where you at? I'm in the appliances. In my mind, I'm like, what the fuck? you doing over there <laughs> we, we supposed to be in building materials what the hell anyway so you know you're always gonna have co-workers like that <laughs> but you know all in all molly was cool as shit she was nice but uh yeah i'm no longer working at lowe's i'm working at frito-lay and the training process is, was awesome they, they give you four weeks of training like a like a month Sometimes a month and a half. I don't know. I think, the, you know what? The, the last month, I think he did. My trainer, he was cool as fuck. His name was Christian. And he, he was, I think he, he took off the last week on purpose. <laughs> I was like, you going to leave me. Why you going to leave me, though? And then, you know, uh, I had to um, not run it, but I, I I had to fill in for his shift because, you know, his, his route. You know, he, 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 thank God he took off for a week for a vacation, though, but, yeah, yeah. But, like, then when that happened, I was pretty much comfortable with the route and shit, and I knew what to do. So, I, I, I was nervous because I was going to be by myself, though, but all you got to do is put on your AirPods or whatever, and then you can listen to your podcast or your music while you stock the, you know, the potato chips, and, um, shit. I mean, it's a pretty chill job. You, there, I mean, you have, you have to have a car. You, you have to have a car when you, uh, work for a Frito-Lay. Um, especially as a merchandiser, you know. But other than that, um, minimum supervision. Uh, there's no micromanagement from... Your supervisor, I mean, he's your supervisor's there, but he's not there. You know what I'm saying? He's always a phone call or a text away for you know, like, hey, he either he want to check up on you or sometimes he will he will call you. He was like, hey, I'm finna come to the store, and see how you doing, and then uh, that'd be the last time I see him <laughs> because you know, you know the uh, the the DSLs that's what they call them the the, the district sales lead this a supervisor and he has his own district so it's like let's say like he have a district of like three counties or uh, uh, three suburban towns or some shit like uh, like in Maryland you have a familiar with Maryland uh, let's say my 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 supervisor runs Jessup, Ellicott City, Columbia, Elkridge. You know, like 
I think the whole Howard County or some shit. I don't know. For fuck. Anyway. But it's 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 pretty chill. I mean the like the only thing that'll freak you out about the job is for a person that's it still freaked me out. I've been here since September. Um was the amount of shit on carts. Usually if you're RSR, the you know the the, the Frito Lay driver that brings in the order, if he does his shit with the order and then like the like the carts won't be that many. It'd be probably like two or three carts, and you could knock them shits out like in two hours. But sometimes I've seen RSRs bring me eight, eight fucking carts. You don't need eight fucking carts because you're going to have mouths of backstock. I swear. The, 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 the thing about backstock and receiving, I, I've been to a store where it was a Walmart where they got like eight, ten carts of backstock. I'm like, how the fuck that happened? And it's not the merchandiser's fault. It's the RSR's fault for ordering that much shit. So sometimes the warehouse, they force orders out to them and then you just got to keep that shit. I don't know what the fuck. Anyway. But then the receiver in the back of Walmart be like, oh, excuse me, you, you can't have all these carts in this fucking receiving warehouse facility at Walmart because it's, it's not you you making it not having any room for everything. You know what I'm saying? These carts is, is, is pretty big. Not that big, but it's pretty big. Once it's in bulk. I don't know. But other than that, like the big orders, that's the only thing that like kind of it will overwhelm you, but you just got to be in your fucking head where you got to get used to it. You know what I'm saying? Four carts is manageable. Like I just did four carts of shit yesterday. That shit took me four hours. <laughs> it took me four, oh, like three and a half hours or whatever. But, uh, yeah, but I got 10 hours of overtime. <laughs> Oh, man, 10-hour shifts. Excuse me. I just did 10-hour shift yesterday. And hopefully, this is my Friday. I, I, I go home at 9. That's what my schedule say, from 4 o'clock in the morning to 9. Because it's usually 4 o'clock to 12. That's not bad. You know, sometimes you go over that. It's just like yesterday. I didn't go home at like 3 o'clock. Well, I, I, like, uh, I clocked out at like around two on my phone because they give you a, like an iPhone or so good. and like that iPhone they give you uh, your work phone is substantial <laughs> because you, you shit man because that's your device where you clock in and uh, you do your video trainings and all that shit you know uh, right on your iPhone so and do, do not lose that iPhone because how the fuck you gonna record your hours you know, how the hell are you going to get paid? So always, please treasure your, your work iPhone if you get a job at Frito-Lay. <laughs> I mean, that iPhone is important. But, uh, oh, yeah, see, it's, 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 it's a nice job to have. You know, me, me, I like the freedom. The freedom of this job is very good. You know, I'm not confined to one spot. But hope, shit. But sometimes it would be nice just, just doing just one store. I know a couple of mer merchandisers from Free to Lake. They only do one store, you know. And it take again. It take you like at least like three or four hours to do the, the gondola. That's what they call the chip out. The 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 gondola, the chip. The uh, excuse me, the, the, the little shop around eight by ten chip shit. <laughs> um, yeah, it takes you like three and a half hours to or four just, just to stock everything up, and then you know you got the rest of four hours of bullshit, or or it's just to kill you back stock or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Then you be done. Yeah. Oh, and the impulse, the impulse. Got you got to check up on your impulse. Those, those are the real small potato chips that be at the beginning. Like where the front lanes are, like the, like the cash registers, 
that's only in Walmart store. Well, not only. It's on grocery stores, you know, like the real, like, small 50 cent bags of, uh, of potato chips. Those are your impulses. Got to do them. Got to do your little shop around, the 8 by 10 little shelf of potato chips. And then you have the gondola. That's the chip aisle. That's it. Well, that, like at Walmart's, really. To tell you the truth. And the, the easiest stores to have or the work in if you work for Free to Lay is probably Wegmans, BJ's, Sam's Club. Like all the membership stores are the easiest. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, like, uh, 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 they got their carts that it flips. You, you, you can turn them around. You got another row of chips. And then you got, the, like, the front of the carts. You got another row of chips. And then it's, it's, it's like, it's straightforward at the at the membership uh, stores. It's, I mean, yeah, they have everything in bulk, though. But it's, 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 it's the easy. I like BJ's better. BJ's. Everybody loves BJ's. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, um, ooh, sit, finger in the right. Yeah, but um, yeah, uh, the, you know, the BJ store is the easiest, I think. You know, because you know you can, you know, like not once you get it down, like you, you can knock that out in like two hours. Yeah, because you got six carts or six movable shelves of chips. And then you got your multi-packs, you know, little small chips in them boxes. That's about it. If the BJs don't have, like, a huge display in the front of the store, well, uh, yeah, of course you got to stack that up, though. But, you know, if, if your BJ store ain't got that huge display in the front of the store, you just work the condola and the multi-packs, and you done. <laughs> so, um... The pay is good, like in my state, um, Maryland, they start you off uh, 25, not, I hope, I wish it was that much, no, 21 50 an hour. Uh, you get good benefits, I just was, you know, I been in the hospital, um, um, you know, because I had a heart attack, and they... Their America, uh, the fucking medical benefits was awesome. They paid the majority of my, you know, of my stay while I was in the hospital. The only thing I had to pay was like probably forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, 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 I had to stay in the hospital because all the doctors was worried about me. Like, please do not go. We would like you to stay here so you can be in observations. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, so. So I stayed in there. Uh, I went in the surgery. They put a stent. Well, uh, they uh, they dug a prod in my wrist. That's the new thing because they, they used to every time you have a heart attack when they want to put a stent in you, they, they used to insert something in your groin like like the, the thigh, and then they traveled down to your heart. But this new way, they traveled it down to your wrist, or like from your wrist to your heart to unclog the plane. I had a like a clogged artery, so it, like uh, like in my heart. Yeah, yeah, and everything was. God, I was like, holy shit! They, 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 they their health benefits paid the majority of that bill. I'm like, holy fuck! So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stay here in Frito Lane for a while. <laughs> yeah, because they benefits is on point. But other than that. I ain't got two shit, two shits to worry about. Oh yeah, since I had my heart attack, I ain't got no nicotine in my vapes. I can't have nicotine no more. Well, I can have it, but I, I gotta slow down on it, cause you know nicotine it narrows the blood vessels and shit. So can't have caffeine either. But I, don't, I can't say I can't have it. I can have it. I just can't have a lot. It's just like I'm diabetic. I can eat the processed foods, but I can't have a lot of it. But you know, it's just normal. I just eat a, like a like a turkey and cheese sandwich or wheat bread or a salad. <laughs> yeah, 
You know, so I stay healthy. I'm sure I go back to the gym. Matter of fact, I'm going to the gym like soon as I get off work because I haven't been to the gym in like weeks just because I was in the hospital and stuff. That kind of fucked up my love. But well, this job fucked up my my workout schedule because, oh man, especially when I didn't have a route, I was going all over the place. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm I'm start to go back to the gym because in a way I kind of miss going to the gym. That shit was fun. I I, I have my fucking iPad with my AirPods and I watch Cyberpunk Edge Runners on on Netflix on the treadmill. <laughs> Or like some type of movie, which is, uh, I'll be walking and jogging on a treadmill, then I just lift weights and shit. And then, and then I'll leave. And, and you know what? You ain't got to be at the gym for like an hour or 45 minutes. You can go to the gym for 20 minutes. Sis, sis go and, and to do something on a treadmill, like let's say walking real fast and jogging on a treadmill for 20 minutes. That's that's pretty much a workout. It could be all cardio. You know, may work your heart, you know, sweat a little bit, and then dip. Anyway, that's it. Is 16 minute vlog. Peace out.